Well, uh, before this session, we want to hear from a uh, young couple who lives here in Oklahoma City. Uh, Jesse and Lacey Salmon uh, have four children. Uh, Lacey is a full-time teacher, as you might expect, ages 4 to 11. She homeschools. And uh, Jesse is uh, uh, trained in the Air Force, is now a pilot for UPS. Uh, they've been married for 15 years, met at John Brown University. They minister together to the Metro Kids at Metropolitan uh, Church down the street. So thank you for coming up and giving us a good word. Thank you, Chip. Um, good afternoon. Uh, we're excited to be here and to share with you uh, what God, how God has impacted us with one-on-one uh, -on -one or life-on-life -life discipleship. Um, my salvation testimony is pretty simple. I was saved at the age of five and I've never been unsure of my salvation since then. My discipleship journey, I feel like before I um, uh, moved to Oklahoma City was basically around uh, kind of Bible studies and that kind of thing. So uh, when I was uh, growing up, I actually, we went to a school, that, or a church that had a university next to it, and so I had a couple of navigators at our church. And so I kind of knew the term, um, uh, I knew about one-on-one -on -one discipleship, and I knew that you were supposed to have a quiet time, but I didn't really understand how impactful that was. So going through college, um, where I met Lacey, I had roommates and housemates, and we had Bible study together. So it was a great interaction with other men in that, in that instance. And then when we moved on to my career in the Air Force, we uh, joined a bunch of small uh, ch or churches and small groups as we moved around the, the US, different periods of time. And it really was in uh, Texas in 2014 when I really discovered that I really needed other men in my life. I kind of reached a low point in the middle of a six-month deployment to Afghanistan, and I just decided to rally all the guys in my squadron who wanted to do a Bible study together, and we had a Bible study once a week. Um, so there were about six to eight of us. Um, two or three of us continued that when we got home uh, for the rest of my time in Texas. And I was very apprehensive about moving on to North Carolina when we moved after that. Um, and not having any uh, connections there, people were poor in my life. So uh, what I did is I went to the youth pastor who was also friends with at our church there, and I just asked him, hey, do you wanna um, get together and meet? And so we've been doing that for about eight years. Um, so that was kind of my first introduction to like, okay, we're just do one-on-one. -on -one. We didn't really have a, a curriculum, it was more just like, we were just um, you know, keeping each other accountable and having each other in our lives. In North Carolina, we got involved very heavily in our church, and I helped start a men's ministry. And we did Every Man a Warrior. So uh, we had a, four, a group of four guys who met uh, every Sunday morning at 6 a.m. I would FaceTime in when I was deployed, and that was really good for me. I had an older gentleman in our group who led it, and he really kept my feet to the fire on scripture memory and quiet time. And um, that was an excellent experience for me and just continuing to have other men involved in my life. I grew up in a Christian home here in Oklahoma City, and I was saved at the age of eight. I confessed that I was a sinner and asked Jesus into my heart. And my life verse is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. And I'm so thankful for my discipleship journey. I feel like that discipleship one-on-one -on -one has been something that the Lord has really used to keep my path straight. Um, I was first discipled by my parents. Um, my dad, I would see him having a quiet time, and he had a prayer journal, and he would share that with me. And um, also, my dad would meet with other men one-on-one. -on -one. And I always thought, wow, that's really neat. You know, that's something the men do. Um, and then my mom would ask me, um, you know, Lacey, have you been reading your Bible lately? And that usually meant, like, I can tell you haven't. So um, <laughs> so she would keep me accountable in that way in the home. So when I was in middle school, I went to Eagle Lake. It's a navigator camp. And that was my first experience with one-on-one -on -one discipleship. My um, camp counselor that week sat down with me one-on-one, -on -one, and that time was just very meaningful, and that was a pivotal point in my walk. Um, she did the wheel illustration, and um, I just will never forget that. And then in high school, in the youth group, we had core groups. I met with one friend and an adult leader every Wednesday night. 
And through the years, I've been involved in many different women's Bible studies, but I just, um, I love one-on-one -on -one discipleship because I feel like you can go so much deeper and I've grown so much more and quicker um, than groups of women. So that brings us up to our time when we moved from North Carolina. I got out of the military, moved to Oklahoma City. And so um, I was very apprehensive about, again, leaving a community of guys that I had, um, had been investing in, we'd been investing in each other for the last uh, four or five years, and coming here and kind of starting over again. So um, as an answer to prayer, the first Sunday we went to Metropolitan, we walked into Sunday school and I was talking to somebody he mentioned something about the navigators, and from about 30 feet across the room came a guy named John Wilson, in his very non-confrontational, like, laid-back, passive way. Um, we started engaging about what discipleship is, and he asked me if I had ever done one-on-one -on -one discipleship, and I said no, and he asked if I would be interested, and I said yes, and then, of course, we started meeting that Monday, I think, the day after. So it was, uh, it was very quick, um, like, like anything John does, it's just very, very upfront. And, uh, but yeah, so we've been meeting for about two and a half years. Okay, so what does that look like? What do we do? Um, it, to me, uh, it's centered around the verse, uh, 2 Timothy 2.2. 2. What have you heard from me in the presence of many witnesses? Commit to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. So that's what we want to do is something doable. So in reality, what that looks like is we meet every week uh, at Brahms when I'm here, and then um, I'll FaceTime when I'm on the road. Uh, we, do, we spend about an hour and a half to two hours uh, meeting, and we spend the first half just kind of the life-on-life -life part where we're just talking about things. Lacey and I have gone through a lot of changes over the last couple of years, and we moved here and um, changed all, all sorts of things, careers, you know, kids, all that stuff. And so uh, John has been very instrumental in uh, helping me work through some of those decisions and kind of the life-on-life -life part there. Um, the second half we do is we um, go through the materials, some of the tools, uh, a lot of nav press, and then we check verses, and then he checks on who I'm discipling. So again, the time commitment is about two hours a week, and then plus uh, going through the materials. Uh, what tools do we use? Um, at beginning with Christ, lessons on assurance, uh, lessons on Christian living, the saving life of Christ by Ian Thomas, and uh, the Sign for Discipleship series is what we're going through now. Um, also, one of the biggest things for me is uh, feeling, I felt like I was a Christian for a long time without being uh, accurately equipped to, to do things. So um, understanding the wheel and the hand illustration and also um, understanding the bridge and how to share my faith with other people. That's been a really big thing is just feeling equipped to do uh, to live out my Christian life. Uh, and one of the advantages is that it's simple. It's not easy. It takes time to but it's very simple. It, uh, very very able to duplicate it and it's flexible because it's just I, he texts me, texts me and I text him back. I don't. I cannot make a Bible study at Tuesday at 6 a.m. So, because um, I'm usually flying then um, as a UPS backside of the clock guy. So, um, it's very helpful to me to be able to just meet with guys one on one. So, who I'm discipling currently discipling two guys, and um, again, it's very simple. Just to text them whenever uh, we can meet, and I can go over the same tools that John went over with me. First Corinthians 11, 1, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. When I um, think about who is someone that I would want to be discipled by, Nell Wilson has been discipling me, so her life is worthy of reproduction, but Nell is also very humble, and she is willing to share with me ways that she falls short or, looking back, things that she might have done different. So we meet at Chick-fil-A, common theme here. Um, on Wednesday nights, while my children are at Awana, since uh, together we pray, she shares requests, I share requests, we share about life, we read God's word together, we also do similar materials, and we have verse cards that we go over when I'm not extremely exhausted. So, um, <laughs> discipleship, I feel like one-on-one -on -one is high risk. So it is a time commitment and you are held accountable and it's a sacrifice. I have four kids. I homeschool. My husband's gone. I teach Sunday school. I coach basketball. My kids have activities. I mean, I could go on and on about what I have going on, but it's such a high reward. It's been so awesome to grow and mature in my faith and my relationships, not only 
my relationship with Nell, but my relationship with my husband and um, my children and my family and who I influence. So um, I'm just very thankful that uh, she is also willing to sacrifice to meet with me as well. So like we've explained uh, kind of before we experienced one on discipleship, there's many tools and methods that you can use out there to help Christians grow in their walk with God. You can go on Amazon and find them all. Um, but we believe that one-on-one -on -one discipleship has been the most impactful for us uh, as, in, as individuals and also as a couple. So I would challenge you to pray and seek out one-on-one -on -one discipleship and explore how God wants to, you to make you a fisher of him.